So basically, right now we are I'm trying to cover numbers bigger than root five. In the last class, we covered till root five, no? Root ten, root mm -hmm. seventeen, something like this. I'm trying to cover right now. So for that, let me just try to recall how do we construct root two, or why do we constructed root two? If you remember. I explained how Pythagoras was able to find the value of root two over here in a right angle triangle. Yes or no? Yes. So can I say root two is nothing but one square plus one square hypotenuse or uh, base square plus perpendicular square? Therefore, base is equals to one unit and perpendicular equals to one unit. Is this part clear? Yeah, it's clear. So what about root three? Uh, root three would be the height, the height plus the base. Basically, if you remember, we were constructing another right angle triangle over here. So base was root 2 and perpendicular was 1. So root 2 square plus 1 square. So what I'm trying to say over here, for root 3, I need to construct root 2. Without root 2, root 3 cannot be constructed. Is that making sense? Okay. Yeah. So let me just solve it for you. You will be able to see root 2 square is 2 plus 1. Isn't it root 3? Yeah. So can I say that root 3, if I have to construct root 3, base would be root 2 unit and perpendicular would be one unit. Is this part clear? Yes. yes so on that same logic, what do you think? How can we, so I'll be going line by line so that you will be able to arrive at the logic. Okay. So what do you think about root four? You construct another uh, right angle triangle. No need to construct. Root to 4 is 2. So answer is 2. So basically, they will not give you this question. Okay. Making sense? Now they will give you root 5. What do you think? How can I or what? As I know that root construction is nothing but right angle triangle construction. So for root five, what should be base and what should be perpendicular? That is my actual question. Right? Uh, three, uh, root three square plus two, uh, root two, I mean, sorry. See, root three, okay, I am be able to do. This is root three. But how will you do root 2 on the straight line? Hmm. It's not practically possible. I know how to construct a whole number, uh, how to draw a whole number. See, it's practically very easy. You're not following the pattern. Root 5 is coming after root 4. So basically, 2 square plus 1 square, isn't it? What is 2 square? 4. Plus 1, root 5. So what? how to construct root 5? Base is 2 unit. Perpendicular is 1 unit. Is it making sense? 
Yeah. But this is not a spiral method. I'm telling you. If the question comes, draw using spiral method, then you will go like this, root two, then you will go like this, root three, then you will go like this, root four, then you will again go like this, root five, then you will construct a line. Is it making sense? Remember we did this thing in the last class? Yes. That is spiral method. But if they say just construct, they're not asking us how to construct or just plot, not asking how to plot. Then I can simply take a straight line, zero, one, two, three, base is two unit. So I'll stand over here, construct 90 degree and one unit, join it by standing over here, open the compass like this, open the compass, then this would be the dotted line. Making sense? Yeah. Please copy. This is very, very important for our questions. Copy this thing, then you have to apply your logic. How can I go for root 10? Think. In the meantime, when you are copying this thing. So when we are thinking of any such number, we'll be talking about the between numbers also. But root 10 is pretty easy. That's why I'm talking about that. If you pay attention over here, I'm looking for a combination of squares, which can give me a five. So think of combination of squares, which can give you a 10. Right? What comes after two? <laughs> Simple as that. So three square plus one square Yes. Why you are so afraid? Be confident. Three square is what? Nine. nine. One square is what? One. One. So nine plus one is what? Ten. One. Is it making sense? Yes. Yeah. Therefore, can I say base is three unit and yes. perpendicular is one unit? Um, some student might say, sir, what if I write like this? One square plus three square. Is my answer correct? Can you tell me? No, because the base will be the base will be three square. It would be correct. Let me just take this example. What if it is one square and two square? So I have to construct 90 degree on one for two units. The triangle will look like this and answer will come same. Making sense? See, yeah. root five is a distance. It can be a little bit upside or downside, hardly matters. So if some student would say, I would like to construct 90 degree on one, it's absolutely fine. But he has to make three units over here. And then is this thing part clear? And some other students say, might say, I would like to go for three units and construct 90 degree over here and draw one unit. Answer would be same. Got it? Yeah. So let me just take another example, root 17. Any guesses? 
students who are watching the video can tell the answer. So now you can just write it for yourself. Okay. Now let us see what are the different combination of questions which are possible. As you have seen, we are going from one, two, three, four, five. Square of them, one, four, nine, uh, 16 and 25. Let me just add them. One plus four, root five. One plus nine, root 10. One plus 16, root 17. One plus 25, root 26. I'm creating questions for you. Is this part clear? Yeah. Another combination. Can you tell me? 4 plus 9. So is it possible to go further? Yeah, it is. It is possible. Will it come? I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Because um, I don't know, somehow in school, they don't teach like this. They teach very rectified way that, okay, root 17, how it needs to be done, root 10, how it needs to be done, isn't it? Yeah. So few more combinations, nine plus four is what? 13. 13, so root 13 can also come. Can you tell me for root 13, what would be the base and what would be the height of oh, perpendicular? Uh, the base would be 4. Seriously? Yeah. 4 plus 9 is okay. But base yeah. is not 4. It's 2 square plus 3 square. So base is 2 units. That's why I'm discussing. And perpendicular is three units. Is this part clear? Yes. Yeah. We'll do this question right now. Uh, you have to construct this question uh, neatly and send it to me. In the meantime, let me just show a few more questions. 4 plus 16, that's root 20. Okay, that's another question. 4 plus 25. That's root 29. That's another question. 9 plus 16. That's root 25. This will not come. Making sense? It's a perfect square number. No? It will not come. 9 plus 25 is what? Root 34. That's it. That actually only these four five are important not beyond that if you want to practice okay any doubt as of now no so we'll try for root 13 ek karke bhi dekh lena dekhega kaisa making sense for i hope you have written everything So for root 13, in your notebook, you have to write something like this. That either you write 4 plus 9 or you can write 9 plus 4. What do you say? What should I write? 4 plus 9. 4 plus 9. Which can be written as 2 square plus 3 square. Therefore, base equals to 2 unit. And perpendicular is equal to three units. Okay. So one unit I'm taking as two centimeter. Okay. Because for one centimeter, it would be very small. So let me just take a scale. Um, that's Zero for me, that's one, that's 
टू वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर वॉट इज द अप्रोक्सीमेट वैल्यू ऑफ रूट थर्टीन रूट थर्टीन इज इन बिटवीन रूट नाइन एंड रूट सिक्सटीन इज इन टेट सो इट हैज टू बी बिटवीन थ्री एंड फोर मेकिंग सेंस तो दैट्स हाउ आई apply the logic is my answer correct or not in exam suppose it is coming way beyond 4 or it is coming way less than 3 so i get a hint that i am doing something wrong now um base is 2 so on 2 what i will do i'll do a construction of Ninety degree. Right. Okay. What happened? Give me a minute. Yeah. So in this. in the spiral method i was saying that it is your school choice to do the construction of 90 degree but in this particular method i would suggest always do the construction so on the second point i will do the construction here 90 degree if you remember 90 degree is taking making a semicircle since i have the two point 0 degree and 180 degree i will just directly bisect them so now you can stop me if you have any doubt in this okay so this is one arc from 0 degree another arc from 180 degree hence i got my 180 degree so let me just draw a line so i don't know what is the distance one thing is i need three unit three unit so it has to be little bit longer wait sorry okay so how to measure three unit you can use scale Uh, if i start shifting the scale it will take time what i will do i'll stand on zero open the compass till 3 unit you can also do that 3 unit do the same thing yeah this is 3 unit i'll stand on point to lock my compass and mark an arc okay keep it back join this point to my origin point that's my right angle triangle so in this this is two unit this is three unit so this has to be root 13 this distance this distance has to be 3 unit so how to plot it on a number line i'll just open the compass by standing on point o open it till this point lock it you can draw a dotted line can you see i'm feeling happy so this particular point is root 13 which is approximately in between 3 and 4 as you were looking at this any doubt in this no just label this thing you can mark it as point x i don't care if your teacher ask you to uh, write step of construction 
you you should write that whatever we are doing and uh, this part is important this thing you have to show how do you get base how do you get perpendicular what is one unit these things are important this thing is for you not for the teacher any doubt